Hello, um, this is Stimming from uh, Hamburg, Germany. Um, there's something which I want to show you because I'm really um, kind of excited that um, it, it works like the next step for editing a um, computer program. In, in my case, Cubase from Steinberg, my preferred, um, uh, what's it, DAW, Digital Audio Workstation. Um, I want to talk about this thing here. That's the Wacom Cintiq 13 um, pen display. So it is a 13 inch full high definition display. And um, on top of it, it has this Wacom pen technology, which is um, the best on the market probably. Well, it is the only one which really works as precise as a mouse. So as you can see, like, exactly where I point the pen, the mouse cursor appears. So, yeah, um, let's zoom in a little bit on here. Um, it's this thing. It has a connector on the right side uh, with a USB and HDMI and a power supply in one cable. And also has one USB uh, connector where my um, dongle for the for the keyboard is in so as you can see I don't have a mouse anymore I don't have uh, another monitor this is the only thing I'm working on um, on the left side are a couple of knobs it's um, four single knobs and one ring and a knob in the middle um, you can configure them um, just the way you want them completely freely. So if you want this as a mouse click, then it is a mouse click or whatever. I have them um, as shift, alternative, control and enter on this ring. Um, I have a zoom in, zoom out, left locator, right locator and zoom track. So um, maybe I show it here. Shift, control, alternative, enter. Enter is very important because a double click um, with a pen doesn't work perfectly. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like completely perfect, but it, uh, this doesn't matter because in Cubase, um, everything you can do with a double click, you can also do with enter. So if I want to go in, let's say this clip, I just click enter and I can zoom in, can zoom out, I can zoom like, really close and uh, if I really want to I can put some plugins in this little piece I don't know doesn't make sense any at all um, so you also have this pen mm, this pen of course has the tip it has a um, kind of an eraser thing and I also use it as an eraser you can also configure um, what this and these two mouse knobs do uh, completely freely. Um, so with this thing, I just have delete on it. So I can delete stuff here. Um, let's undo this. And the two mouse knobs, this is the middle for me. This is the middle mouse knob. Uh, in Cubase, this is very interesting because the middle mouse is a very good navigation tool. And as you can see, um, navigation with middle mouse works really well. I'm really happy about this. And of course, this is the right mouse click toolbox with control pressed. You have the, the context menu. Um, yeah, that's mostly it. Um, one thing you have to know. Uh, if you want to buy this, you also need a very stable and, and solid laptop stand um, because of the ergonomics. Um, they are really different to having a monitor here and a mouse and, and keyboard um, just in front of you. So I bought this thing from whatever manufacturer. Um, it's actually quite expensive, so you also need to like um, have around something for around 100 euros or dollars in mind because it has to be very stable there's nothing 
uh, more annoying than a, um, a vibrating laptop stand, which when you're like doing dance music and rocking on here, um, vibrates all the time and you can't see what you're actually doing. So keep in mind, you need a good laptop stand for that. Okay, um, in Cubase, the pen works as a mouse and how it works I can show you now. Left locator, right locator, perfect, I can go here. Volume up, volume down. Also works on plugins, absolutely perfect. works with MIDI of course so MIDI editing ah, a wrong note let's just erase that one erase that one um, here as well so it's a little bit more vital the whole um, the whole producing process because um, you're moving your hand a lot more one thing I was really annoyed with was the mouse um, for me feels like a very unmusical um, controlling device I mean it's so so little um, little movement in the um, during process um, I believe that like moving your fingers doing things with your fingers um, is more creative than like doing mini 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 movements in my opinion and I'm using this since like more than half a year now. Um, and I would say it changes the way you work simply because you feel a little bit closer to what you're actually doing. So there's like the barrier um, between you and the program and what comes out of the speakers still is uh, very high um, simply because it's like the beginning of, of digital still the beginning of digital um, music making and I'm sure much better um, devices are there to come but using a pen um, comes pretty come it's like a good step forward and that's why I'm making this video because I want to show you that um, there is there are possibilities for doing this little step so unfortunately Wacom is the only um, manufacturer who's doing this um, who's having this technology, this absolutely precise technology, that's why um, graphic designers are using Wacom boards since years. Um, but I didn't hear of any musicians who are using it as well. Um, but I thought it should work, and yes, it works. There's one problem, like if I um, open, open up this, and of course a double click, Double click works sometimes, some, sometimes it doesn't, but it's not like a real problem because if you press enter and you put it up here, then it's not a real problem. So as you, as you can see here, um, if I dial something in and then release the click, it's not completely, it doesn't stay 
on the exact value simply because um, during releasing you move the you move the uh, the tip and it recognizes the the little movement so that's a little bit tricky um, to do something ah I see down here is the you can see the value hmm. <laughs> I learned something today yeah um, so that's a little bit tricky unfortunately and you can here as well like if I would like to to dial in minus three point five four three point uh, that's also not like completely well but if I double click and type it in my hand uh, it works so conclusion um, I see the I see this as a very nice new possibility of controlling Cubase. I don't know how it works with Ableton as well as with as with Logic because I'm on on Windows um, and I like Cubase a lot. I read about Ableton uh, having problems with touch type of of uh, controlling. Um, I can't verify. I don't know. With Cubase, it works really well. Um, I'm not getting paid from Wacom. I actually don't know anything about the, the brand itself and I don't care. Um, simply the, the idea of controlling things with a pen, with a precise pen, um, I thought is worth sharing. So thanks for watching and um, have a nice day.